This video contains an ad for AG1 by Athletic Greens. More on that later. It's time for the Maker's Secret Santa! Every year 12 makers get together for the 12 days of Christmas and we all make something for each other. So I'm going to make something and send it to someone and I'm going to receive something from someone else. Now the whole thing goes round in one massive loop so you can follow the whole thing all the way round and back to the beginning and discover all those channels you haven't heard of before. This year though, it's a leap year so there's only nine of us and the makers this year are Colin Furs, Zyla Foxlin, Becky Stern, Kids Invent Stuff, Jimmy Deresta, This Old Tony, Emily the Engineer, Look Mum No Computer, and me. And this year it's a random draw and I've pulled Emily the Engineer to make for. So Emily the Engineer has a quite a small YouTube channel but also three and a half million followers on TikTok so check that out. And Emily does Iron Man cosplays and lots of other 3D printing and engineering content. So what am I going to make for her? Well, I looked on Emily's TikTok for inspiration and came across this rather interesting video about an automatic boxing arm that she made, apparently in two days, which looks like it's 3D printed. And this is a reciprocating boxing glove that she tested with various other YouTubers that you might recognise. Say it, say it. Your attention is bad and you should feel bad. Your attention is bad and you should feel bad. Well, I don't think it's a bad invention, William Osmond, so I'm going to turn it into the game of automatic boxing arm battle bots. So I'm going to make the reciprocating arm and put it on a base with wheels so it can drive around. And make two so they can fight each other. Just a quick ad from my 3D printing sponsor, thanks to Lulzbot for supporting my channel with 3D printers. And as usual, thanks to 3D Fuel for the filament for this project and lots of other projects, so check out my channel for more 3D printing projects and check out 3dfuel.com. The first part is two runners which are screwed onto another 3D print to make a slot so that I can put the sliding motion in. There's no bearings or anything like that but it's pretty free moving so that should be fine for our purposes. And that screws onto the top of the whole robot so that we've got a kind of base for it to fit on. I've got these small motors which are 6 volt gearhead motors and I've used these loads in lots of other projects. So there's two of those, one to drive each wheel and that'll give me my differential drive setup. So those sides screw onto the top that we've already got. Now we need to make the reciprocating motion so we've got this 3D printed gear which has an axle and also has an offset bolt bolted through it. That fits onto some actual bearings so it can spin round smoothly. On the slider we've got a bolt and not some bearings to put on one end of the rod and so that means as the rod goes around on that gear it's going to make that slider go in and out in a reciprocating motion. So now we just need to mount that block with the bearing and the big gear on the end of the top of the robot and we've got that motion we can see which is pretty much the same as Emily's original boxing arm. So now we just need to add a motor which is one of the motors the same as the wheels and that fits onto a plate which fits on the bottom with a small gear to mesh with the big gear and that should drive everything along. Yep, that seems to have worked out quite well. So it's time for some wheels which as usual have some TPU tyres printed which fit right on there and that means they'll grip the ground nicely. On the bottom I've got two caster wheels and that means we've got the differential drive in the middle and the casters there just touch the ground so we don't lose traction. So all of that seems functional and because we've got three separate motors we can drive forwards and backwards or turn and operate the reciprocating arm separately. But we need two so we can fight and also we need some electronics. But before we carry on with that, it's time for a quick ad from the video sponsor, which is AG1 by Athletic Greens. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a daily supplement that has me really excited about simplifying my health routine. It has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I work flat out making content for YouTube and I've been trying to cut down on caffeine so I love the energy supporting ingredients in AG1 which include a natural form of vitamin B12, biotin and bioavailable folate. It's your daily multivitamin and multimineral, pre and probiotic, immunity support and it provides your daily greens blend too. It's really easy to get into the habit of drinking AG1, all you do is one scoop of AG1 
eight ounces of water, which is just under 250 milliliters. Give it a shake. And that's pretty much it. And do it every day. And it tastes pretty good too. Go to athleticgreens.com slash James Bruton to get started on your order. And Athletic Greens is going to give my community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 and K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So we've got three IBT4 motor drivers which are more than sufficient for those motors, an Arduino Nano and we've also got an NRF 24L01 radio chip on the end there and everything's kind of stuck together. And that fits neatly in the front so that we can control all three motors with those motor drivers over radio control. But each robot is going to need its own transmitter so I've got another Arduino Nano and another NRF 24L01 radio chip. And that fits into a nice little handset which has a switch on the front which is going to activate the reciprocating punching arm and it also has a joystick on the top there so that we can drive it around. And I've got a little cap and a little cover for the side made as well. These are just going to be powered by USB boost banks and the serving suggestion is to just drop that into your pocket. I have to ship these to Emily in America so this has got to ship internationally and I didn't want to ship lithium polymer batteries so I've used nickel metal hydride for the robots themselves. So with the controller all configured and the code written I can drive that around and it seems to be working pretty well. I can turn on the spot or drive backwards and forwards. And the trigger there operates the reciprocating arm to punch with so that looks like it's going to be super fun. But now we need something to put on the front. I left holes for magnets and I've made some fists which have some metal screws in and that means they can attach or be knocked off by the other robot. <laughs> So we'll get that packed up and sent off to Emily and you can check out what happens when she receives it in her channel and what she makes for someone else. Follow the loop all the way around and back to me. But now it must be time for me to receive something. Is that the sound of Santa's sleigh? Is that the sound of the doorbell? All right, all right, I better get that. Well, it's something big. It can't be Colin Furs though, because I had him last year. Right, I've got my Christmas tree out because it's Christmas, so now we can see who sent this secret Santa. It's a rocking chair, but not just any rocking chair. This one's got wheels. Hang on a minute, there's a card. If you're sitting comfortably, then I shall begin. Right, it's from Kids Invent Stuff, and the card says, Happy Secret Santa! You are now the proud owner of the party chair designed by six-year-old Samaya from Pakistan. It has speakers, lights and confetti cannons and it drives, have fun, love Roof and Sean. And it looks like there's a picture of the party chair originally drawn by six-year-old Samaya on the front. also came with this wonderful pair of headphones, but they're not actually headphones, they're earmuffs and they're covered in crystals. Oh, doesn't do anything. 
If you want to see how kids invent stuff, build the party chair, then don't forget to check the build out in their channel, and don't forget to check out Emily the Engineer's channel to see what happens when she gets my gift, and see what she makes for someone else. I'll put the link to all of the makers in the description to this video, and I'm also going to publish the CAD and code for the automatic boxing arm BattleBots project if you want to build your own. That link's in the description as well. Alright, that's all for now.